My name is Ivor, lead pastor of Moon Tower Church, Sister Church to Restore. I want to start this off by saying how grateful I am to be a part of this movement. A movement towards hope, a movement towards change, a movement towards peace and reconciliation. I believe that God has created us for such a time as this, to be an example of the way of Jesus and the love that he has for us. Watching the events at the Capitol have me completely grieved. I know many of you feel the same way. We watched the updates unfold as a family almost around the clock. As we were playing with our two-year-old son, I started to feel a little convicted. I felt like, man, we're giving him a window into a completely broken world. A world that may never be able to see the God-fearing black man that he will grow to be. I felt as if we were watching a rated R movie with our child in the room. I wanted to censor him. I wanted to let him be little for as long as possible. I wanted to let him live in his childlike faith. I know I'm not alone in wondering, will this ever get better? Will what we are doing truly be a catalyst for change? Will what we are doing allow him and others to grow up in a world they can be all that God has created them to be, not to be held back by the color of their skin and the fear that their melanin and other differences invokes in people? I believe the answer to this question is yes, Yes, what we are doing is changing things. And we can see the fruit of that by the mothers and fathers who work the field picking cotton, going to the polls and picking their lineage to be senators and other leaders. That's good news. What a God we serve that he would allow us to be peacemakers, not straddling the fence, but we're choosing the road that leads people to repentance and to the extravagant love of Jesus. God has purposed us and strategically placed us and given us all the tools that we need in order to take on the burden of spreading the good news, which is Christ Jesus and the love that he has for us. The way that we act in love is by standing in the gap for the marginalized. And we can take heart in knowing that with the Lord on our side, all things are possible, all things and that all things work together for the good, for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Man, what a God. What a God that he would believe that we are so deserving of not only the love that he has for us, but to be able to take heart and courage in knowing that we're not fighting this fight alone. We're fighting it locking arms together as the people of God. I pray that we continue to stay united in this fight. So let us pray. God, we just thank you for the wisdom that you've given us, Lord. We thank you for the charge that you've given us. And we thank you for placing on our hearts this restlessness that would just lead us to share the love that you have for us, God. Lord, we just thank you for commissioning us, for purposing us, for placing us in a time such as now that we could be peacemakers, that we can be game changers, that we could be difference makers. God, we're believing that for our lives right now, that we can change our world by walking in kindness, by walking in love, by walking in hope, by walking in peace and delivering the good news that is you. So we just thank you, God, for being who you are and allowing us to live in all that you've created us to be. Lord, we love you. We honor you. We praise you. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and thank God for all of you who have joined us, who continue to be the hands and feet of Jesus. I pray that we would just continue on this journey, locking arms, that we would be on the right side of history, and that we would just love one another the way that God loves us.